Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com coming to you today to talk about five pilot jobs you can do with 500 hours total time flying. Let's go intro. All right, so five jobs we're talking about you can do with 500 hours total flight time. So pretty much anybody out there can do with 500 hours, anyone can get into. And the key here is you can do these jobs without having to shave your face because I just don't really like, I just don't feel like shaving anymore. So we'll try to compare them all equally. We're talking pay, benefits, and then ease of getting hired. If some of these jobs might require a little bit more specific flight time in a certain airplane, a little more tailwheel time, we'll try to cover that for you guys as well. So first off, skydive pilot is our first job on the list. If you wanna be a jumper driver, a diver driver, uh, jump pilot, however you wanna call it. So the pay for a diver driver is roughly around 30 bucks an hour, give or take. Sometimes starts a little lower, sometimes a little more, kind of rare. Sometimes you'll be paid per load. So oftentimes you'll be paid 10 to $20 per load and you can do, well, roughly, you know, one to two loads, sometimes three loads in an hour. So anywhere in that, you know, 20 to even $50 an hour range, maybe if you're lucky. Uh, as far as how many hours a day you can get in, well, six to eight hours a day, pretty typical. Uh, how many flight hours? You know, maybe just shy of that, maybe four to six hours of flight time per day. And the one key drawback there is it's often seasonal. There's gonna be no benefits. Uh, typically 10.99 as you're paid. Rarely are you a W-2 employee. And the ease of getting hired, well, in the baseline of things, flying a 182 or some of the smaller airplanes, if it's not a big twin or something like that, then yeah, it's fairly easy to get hired into that with 500 hours total time. Next, you could be a CFI with 500 hours. And of course, everyone talks about being a CFI, one of the easiest ways to build your time to get to the next level or to even go into as a career. Now, being a flight instructor, being a CFI has changed a lot in the last few years here really. So this is actually a job pay wise, you're looking at if we were to talk about things in total compensation, right? That's what we want to try to talk about because total compensation would be your base salary, any signing bonuses, and then also any benefits lumped into that because there's no benefits being a skydive pilot and some of these other jobs we're about to talk about. So total compensation for a CFI at the top end schools that you can get hired out with 500 hours, roughly around 70,000 per year salary doesn't really matter how many hours you fly. How many hours can you fly per year? Well, five to 800 typically. But if you're talking salary, really doesn't matter, you'll get paid the same. Now, as far as base salary, that's in the mid 50,000 per year range. And then as far as the total compensation, well, you're talking 401k, healthcare, dental insurance, vision insurance, airline travel benefits. If you're working for uh, say like LAT, uh, which is a uh, flight school affiliated with Lufthansa Airlines in Germany. So you get airline travel benefits to them. Uh, paid vacation, paid holidays, uh, paid sick time, things like that. So being a CFI has become more of a career type thing rather than just to build your time. And ease of getting hired into that, pretty easy if you got the 500 hours total time. So that's pretty high up there on the scale, fairly easy to get picked up. Next up, we've got banner towing. Now, this is another one, fairly easy to get picked up on. Pay really ranges again, but you can bet about 28 bucks an hour is a pretty average that we found. Uh, you know, we saw things anywhere from 15 on up to 30 bucks an hour for banner towing. And it can be pretty long hours, which is kind of helpful as far as getting paid, right? So you're not gonna go out and just fly for an hour typically, but it is very seasonal. And there typically are no benefits. Once again, you're back to 1099. So in terms of total compensation, you'd be lucky to come home with 30, 40 grand, maybe a year in that uh, field or in that pilot position as a banner tow pilot. But as long as you've got, say, you know, 10, 20 hours of tailwheel time, pretty easy to get picked up. And there's even banner tow airplanes that aren't tailwheel or trikes that you can get picked up with just your plane 500 hours. So fairly easy to get hired, pay, eh, not so great, kind of middle of the road and benefits. Typically none. The only reason pay is good is because you can fly so many hours in a day. Next up, we've got 135 flying or charter flying, any those sorts of jobs that kind of fall into that scenic tour operations, things you see in Alaska, out west around the Grand Canyon, and around Florida, flying around the Keys, and out on the East Coast doing charters, and really all over the lower 48 as well, but any sort of 135 flying. Well, pay is gonna start it kind of varies. It could be 20 bucks an hour, could be 25 an hour, could be $200 a day. That's a really common rate you'll see for whether you're sitting right seat in a Hawker at 500 hours, or you're sitting left seat in a you know Cessna 206, a 182. 200 bucks a day is pretty typical what you can bet on for pay. The trouble there is you may not be able to log the flight time, even though they're paying you to sit right seat in a hawker, you may or may not be able to log that flight time, especially if you're not multi-engine rated, especially if the guy's not an MEI, especially if it doesn't require two pilots to be flying it. So you may get into some of these jobs that sound great flying a jet, 
but there's no benefits. Again, it's just all 1099, here's your money, no W-2 jobs out there really for that sort of thing. And you may not be logging flight time sitting in that hawker. Now, the other side of this is, say, Grant Aviation up in Alaska. Well, they actually pay $200 a day, go fly their small airplanes, two weeks on, two weeks off, so you're looking at you know, not a whole lot of money, but about, you know, 2,800 bucks a month, maybe. And yeah, there's some basic benefits there, as well as airline travel benefits. They're part of CAS, they're part of the jump seat, you know, group of airlines, so you can actually jump seat around and have flight benefits working for someone like Grant up in Alaska. Now, as far as total compensation, their benefits aren't quite that great, so you're looking in the mid 30s, maybe high 30s, if you're lucky, as far as what they offer in terms of healthcare, 401k, and all that, all the extra stuff. It's really not much uh, in the 135 world. Ease of getting hired into those 35 jobs is a lot easier now and it's really once again a who you know kind of thing especially for the right seat jet jobs uh, once again you're not gonna really be able to log time in those right seat jet jobs most often but as far as the left seat jobs flying the Cessnas up around Alaska and the lower 48 flying some of those smaller 206s and things like that you can log the time and again kind of who you know but also fairly easy if you just pick up the phone call or drop off a resume and actually go show your face there it's getting easier by the day because we are cutting into a little bit of a pilot shortage here in case you guys haven't noticed uh as far as aerial survey aerial photography and pipeline patrol those are our last that's our last fifth job right we'll just kind of lump them all into one aerial surveying or photography whether it's surveying animals surveying land taking pictures pipeline patrol all kind of lumps in the same ease of getting hired Eh, somewhere between just show up and who you know you have to kind of know to get the job so not the easiest to get hired into but not the hardest the trouble with it is it kind of comes and goes right you'll have a lot of work flying eight hours a day around the 20 to 30 dollar an hour range sometimes even more but again 1099 rarely find w-2 jobs in this field rarely find any sort of benefits total compensation you're looking in the 30,000 ish range because you're not going to have work year round. It's really when somebody gets a contract or somebody gets a big job, they fly a whole bunch for a few weeks, a month, and then you're just sitting around waiting again. Same thing with aerial photography, with drones coming out, real estate agents aren't really calling up guys to go take pictures of houses anymore. So that's kind of shifting into not as popular, kind of harder to find the work. Pay, count on the 30 ish thousand range, and then benefits, count on none. And as far as getting hired, oh, it's moderate again. So that really sums up the five jobs we've got. Again, you don't have to shave for any of these five jobs. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight of what you can do to build your time to get to the next level. Or if you're looking just to, you know, kind of do that for a career, all those can be careers. You can live off all those salaries, although they're not necessarily amazing. Some of them, you know, once you once you break the 50,000 mark, I've always found that I was pretty comfortable making 50,000 up total compensation. That made life a lot easier than trying to live off twenty thirty thousand dollars a year so that's my two cents on it that's what we found in our research if you guys have any other ideas leave them in the comments below we will link all of these companies that we research our top five companies so to speak for these jobs in the description below as well so you can check those out if you want to go ahead and call them up drop off a resume and you guys know what to do like the video subscribe if you have not already we will see you guys in the next video